guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am doing the video that has literally taken me the longest to just film like i've literally said i was going to film this video since weeks ago months ago and i never did it so let's go ahead and jump into it as you guys have read from the title this is going to be my eyeshadow palette declutter so like I said, this is going to be my eyeshadow palette declutter. I have literally been just really decluttering my entire life. I feel like I'm such an organized person. Like, I really, really love organizing everything. And I love having everything in its own space and in its own spot. And I like having everything organized where I could see it. So, obviously, I've just been really just decluttering everything. From my makeup sponges to my makeup to clothes like i'm always decluttering something because i'm like if it's not being shown love it's just best that i get rid of it um and if there's like something that i really want to try then now is my opportunity to do it so i have decluttered a lot of palettes i will just say a lot of these palettes when i'm decluttering them and i'm just ready to let them go i post them automatically on my offer up and my Poshmark. If you're not following me on my offer up or my Poshmark already, I'll leave the links down below. So yeah, they're specialized links. It should take you right to my page. So definitely make sure to check out the links. So just a quick FYI, if you offer me something, like if you put an offer on a palette, ten, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna accept it just cause I'm so ready to let go of the makeup. And I do sanitize everything and I do bubble wrap it really securely. I have extra bubble wrap so literally I make sure it's packed just like how I would want it packed if I'm ordering something online. So definitely don't feel afraid. Um, and I post pictures and if you guys want more pictures I'm totally down to take more pictures of them. Sometimes like I obviously don't have the palettes next to me. The palettes that I do declutter I keep in my living room. Um, because they're palettes that are just not in my room. i rather just occupy the, you know, the spots that are in my room with palettes that I'm actually going to keep. It's literally a box full, a basket, not a box, a basket full of things that I'm going to declutter. So if you're ready to see what I'm getting rid of, make sure to stay watching. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on your post notifications because I plan on doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers. And yeah, um, definitely let me know what you guys want to see in that giveaway because I really hope that we hit it before 2021. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Jeffree Star Blood Lust Palette. Now, I haven't made like a public announcement anywhere but i'm not really a fan of the brand anymore it just re left a really bad taste in my mouth so i'm getting rid of it like i just don't want to support this brand any longer in future like i have kept some palettes from the brand but that's just like palettes that i have like i'm waiting to see if i can dupe the shadows i'm not going to be promoting his shadows or his line like i'm not messing with the brand anymore you guys won't see it on my channel um, but yeah, I just like want to reference like obviously I do have some of his eyeshadows I've kept some of his palettes, but like I'm not gonna promote the brand. So If you guys do still support him like, you know, you guys can totally take this off my hands This palette it has never been used. I just don't have the box for it already So yeah, um, by the way, I just feel like I have other palettes that have a lot more purples and purples that I like better and this wasn't purple enough for me so I'm ready to give it a new home so if you guys are interested I do have this now available on my crush mark and my offer up. Alright speaking of Jeffree Star again this is the blue blood palette again I just already have shades that are similar to this that I like better I use more often and just better brands that I want to support so I'm getting rid of the blue blood palette as well and also i have the shane dawson mini controversy palette this one just has this shade swatch right here but the rest of the shades are brand new as well as for the blue blood and the bloodless they probably only have like one shade swatch but they're practically new so yeah i'm getting rid of this one as well next i have this pure creator palette and this one has 
some eyeshadows as well as a highlighter and a contour these i've only swatched a few times the reason i like honestly this formula is to die for i really like it but i just don't reach for it enough for my liking and i just know that there's probably someone that would really like it i'm selling this in a bundle with another pure palette that i'm going to show you guys next so yeah the palette that i'm bundling it with is the pure visionary so this one is just like mauve tones again i really do like the formula i've never tried them on my eyes just like swatching them they are gorgeous so i know that they would apply really well on the eyes but i just feel like i'm ready to let go of it i've never really used it i've even tried depotting it to see if it would work well with other single shadows i still don't reach for the shadows so yeah these are in a bundle together if you guys are wanting to do that i'm willing to bundle anything to save you guys shipping so just let me know if you guys want a customized bundle and i'm totally down to take pictures of everything that you want i just did that for um this one of one of my shoppers on offer up um she wanted a select palette i bundled it we negotiated on a price and that was it so if you guys are interested in many palettes i can totally work with you on that just let me know so the next palette is the nyx ultimate shadow palette this is the colorful one so the reason that i want to get rid of this although i really like the color story i have a lot of colorful palettes i just don't really ever reach for this one i don't think that it's a bad formula i think that it's a really nice formula for beginners but for me personally, I just know I have a lot of palettes that are similar to it and palettes that I like better, which is why I'm getting rid of this one. Although I don't have anything bad to say about it, I just prefer other palettes. So this palette is the Hank and Henry Living in Color. I got it on impulse and I just decided to jump on it, but it's not anything interesting to me. I mean, it has like four mattes and a couple shimmers, but it's nothing that I'm going to miss. So I've only swatched like two shades in this palette. It's practically new. I don't have the original box that it came with, but it's a little bit too bulky for my liking as well, which is why I want to get rid of it. This is actually a palette from an indie brand um, called Mia Cosmetics, and this is her like space palette, I believe. This is an all matte palette except for the two shimmers this one on the corner and this one as well so the formula isn't bad it's practically anything you would really see in like a private label brand um it's like morphe quality so if you guys are interested again i'm willing to take any offers on this one it's a really nice packaging but i just don't reach for it ever the next two palettes are from too faced cosmetics so this one um is the oh i literally feel so bad when i drop something like my makeup so i don't want to drop these because i'm selling them so this is the razzle dazzle berry eyeshadow palette so this is what the palette looks like as you guys can see it's only been swatched a couple of times although the smell of it is really really nice it smells really sweet i just don't ever reach for this palette so it's just ready to like leave my collection at this point and then i also have the sparkling pineapple this one smells like pina colada it smells really really good but again i just don't reach for them another two faced palette that i have in here is actually the chocolate bonbons i used to be a really big collector of all the chocolate bar palettes i literally have owned every single one but as of recently i'm like i'm never going to use it so there's no point in keeping this in my collection so yeah this is what the palette looks like it's in great condition i probably only used it a handful of times and again i will sanitize it before sending it out all right so the next one is the smashbox double exposure palette i bought this one on sale at nordstrom and although it's a gorgeous palette i really like the shimmer row and then the matte row i just have never reached for it i don't really know how smashbox works um, I've never really tried their formula, but yeah, it's a really great palette. It feels really luxe, and I'm sure the quality is really nice, but I am i don't ever use it. Alright, and then this is the Naked 2 palette. I don't think I've ever like posted this one on sale because it's literally so old. I've had this palette for like 5 years. This is the Naked 2 palette, and this one I'm just going to end up throwing it out. I'm not going to sell it because it's literally super old. And all of the pans are falling out already. So this one I'm just getting rid of. 
The next palette is from Wet n Wild and this is the Nude Awakening. This is just a palette that I decided to get a long time ago. Never used it, only swatched it a few times and for these kind of palettes I can literally just throw it if you like want it. I wouldn't even charge you just because I probably like I honestly just don't want to put a price on it. I'm willing to just give it away to someone. So yeah, if you ever purchase something from me and you happen to be watching this video and you want it, definitely let me know. Alright, so the next palettes are from Rimmel London. So these are the um, Thunderstorm Edition, which is like kind of like a stormy palette that Kylie, uh, Kylie Cosmetics released a long time ago. I feel like I was trying to dupe that. Then we have the Jewel Rocks Edition and the Rainbow Edition. So these palettes honestly perform really well. I have tried some of their shadows and they're not bad. Um, so yeah, this is what the palette looks like, but I am bundling them. So these are practically brand new. I've literally only swatched a handful of shades, maybe even none. So yeah, I am selling these on my offer up, I believe. I think it's also on my Poshmark. And then the next one is one that I got in my BoxyCharm. And honestly, this is why sometimes I don't like getting palettes in my BoxyCharm because I'm not always thrilled with what I get. So this is the Touch and Soul Fill Up Orange Palette, as you guys can see. So this is what the palette looks like. I think I've only swatched like two shades, but yeah, um, this one's practically new. I only swatched this bigger shade and this smaller shade, but yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm just not really ever going to use it. I know I'm not, so I'd rather just get rid of it. The next one I have here is the Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. So this one is super pretty. I really love the cool tones in it. It has plum shades at the bottom. The only reason I literally just decided to declutter it was because I've had it in my mind, like in the back of my mind for declutter for the longest. So although I think it's a gorgeous palette and I'm a really big fan of Chloe Morello, I just don't reach for this. So. I just let it go. I actually just sold the volume 2 recently, so I only have the volume 1 now. Next is the, actually I'm going to show you guys all these together. These are from Peachy Queen. So all these here are from Peachy Queen. This is the Pumpkin Spice palette. I really like her Kush Queen palette, but I'm just not really a big fan of the Pumpkin Spice. I feel like I have shades like this already, so I'm just ready to get rid of it. So if you guys are interested, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, it's just a palette that I already feel like I have enough fall shades and I'm just never going to reach for it. I think that the pan sizes are gorgeous and I'm sure that they perform really well. I really did like the formula of the Kush Queen, but i just rather get rid of it now. The next one I actually have never really used. Um, these are all like brand new. I probably swatched like one shade just like when I was barely opening them. But this is the Peachy Queen Amethyst palette, so this is what it looks like. Um, super pretty. It's all purple. So yeah, um, it just has way too many glitters for my liking. And I bought this again, being impulsive, just wanting to have everything and I'm just never going to use it. So I do have this in a bundle as well. Then I have the no place like home. This is super pretty, but I have rainbow shades, you guys. And again, this has four glitters in here. I'm not a huge fan of glitters. I just don't really like them. I'm not really a huge fan of glitters, but this is a palette inspired by Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz. So yeah, if you're a fan of them, definitely let me know. I'm just ready to get rid of this. This palette is the Welcome to the Carnival, and this one, um, I think I swatched... I don't even know if I swatched any shades. I don't think I did, but I did throw away the box. So yeah, this is a really cute palette, but I just don't think I'll ever reach for it. So all of those are from Peachy Queen and they're ready to leave. So yeah, this is another one from BoxyCharm. So this is the Teddy Boy Butter London palette. Um, yeah, it's just cool tones. I know a lot of influencers use their palettes because they have to do like promotional things with them. Like they have to promote the BoxyCharm when they get them. Like they have a contract with them. I don't, so i rather just get rid of it um, if I can. It's brand new, I haven't touched it. So yeah, this one is, again, it has a box too. Then this is the Venus 2 from Lime Crime. So I honestly have debated 
getting rid of this one for a really long time and I'm still like telling myself like you need to use the first Venus palette and if I don't use it I'll end up decluttering it as well this palette's super good I feel like they were more famous like more popular not famous they were more popular back in the day now I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them because Lime Crime has definitely left some bad taste in people's mouths but yeah it's just palettes that I'm just like I have these shades from other brands and I use them so I'm just gonna get rid of it then we have one from elf cosmetics this is actually the elf x j kissa although i'm a huge fan of j kissa i just wasn't a huge fan of this color story i bought it at ulta before i went away because this was a limited edition but again i just don't ever reach for this so although i think it's really nice and i'm sure that a lot of people would get use out of a mini palette i just never reach for them the next one is the NYX Professional Makeup. This is the Fire Palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. So I really, really like this palette. I really love the color story of it. It has some really vibrant reds, yellows, and like this smoky green up here, like this green shade. So it's a gorgeous palette, but I just never reached for it. I bought it on sale on NYX website, and I just literally never reached for this palette. Um, they came out with like air and like a bunch of other elements, but I never really wanted it until I saw I Love Sada promoting it. And like, for what? Like at that point it was already on sale. So this is the, um, Milani Cosmetics Gilded Desires. I'm a huge fan of Milani. I think they're a great brand, but I just never really use their shadows. I have decluttered a lot of their eyeshadow palettes, um, in the past. This is another one that I just kept sitting in my collection. I'm sure that the formula is amazing because I have swatched some of the shimmer shades, but I've just never reached for it, so I just decided to let it go. All right, next is the Eyes Are the Window Shadow Palette, and this is in the style, well, this is in the shade Mine. You guys, I literally wanted all of these palettes at one point when I literally didn't have money when I was still in high school. And when I first bought this palette, I kept it because it kept, like, sentimental value to me that, like, alright, I have it now, like, I was able to get it. But I literally just never reach for it. I literally don't. It is a gorgeous formula. I really, really like it. But I just have shades like this already. So I can't just keep it saying that, like, it has sentimental value because it'll always have sentimental value. I'll know that I did buy it and I had it. Alright, so the next one is the Ride or Die palette um, from Violet Boss. You guys, this was a $75 eyeshadow palette. And it still costs that much today unless you like find it on sale. This palette was literally everything. It has like the whole cool tone, the warm tone side, and then this whole row is gold. But I literally don't reach for this palette. It's not super huge, like, as you would expect it to be. Um, but I just know that if I keep it for my collection, like, I'm never going to freaking use it. Like, I'm literally not. If I keep it, it's just never going to get used. So moving on, I also have this Sigma X Beauty Bird palette. Um, this was a dream palette. I love Beauty Bird, but I never used this palette. I actually used it out. I actually used this palette once. Um, I used it for a review before I stopped uploading videos because I got pregnant with my son. This palette is absolutely stunning. I just know I'm never going to reach for the color story and it's kind of like one of those palettes that it really sucks when it's limited edition because you don't really see a lot of people ever hyping it up or keeping it as like their favorites just because like there's always new stuff coming out. So the next palette is another one from JS and this is the Beauty Killer palette. So, yeah, um, again, I like this palette at one point, but now that I'm looking at it, I just, I'm like, what the heck? Um, it is, it was a really great formula, but I've had it for years, so, yeah, I'm just decluttering it. Alright, so the next one again is from BoxyCharm, and I regret that I did swatches with this one because I would have just preferred if I didn't touch it because I kind of already had a feeling that I was going to get rid of it. But this is the Artisto palette, and even though I really do like some palettes from Zoeva, this just was not it for me. It was too light. Like, I just, I don't know, I just didn't really like the colors in it. 
Another e.l.f. palette is the Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in the shade Holy Smokes. Um, I mean, it's just a lot of cool tones. I already have shades like this, so I decided to just decolor it. And then I also have this one. This is the Sephora Pro Pigment Palette. I believe this is the editorial one. So yeah, this one was super pretty. I remember when I first bought it, I was actually really heartbroken because this palette came broken. Um, but then they sent me a new one, which is the one that I have here. Um, I think the palette is super pretty, like I honestly do. This first row is like all pastels and then you get like the pinky purple. Um, and like red and then you get the green row and then at the bottom you get this black and they're like more foiled shadows but the foil shadows are just a little bit too chunky for my taste so that's why I don't really like it that much so yeah um, then I also have this alluring cosmetics this one is just like a matte palette um, again it's just like another private label brand I really did like the shades when I did use them. I used this when I was like reviewing makeup. Um, but again, I just already have colorful shades. So I just decided like why keep like, you know, making this harder on the both of us when I'm just ready to let it go. And then we're finally down to the last couple items. So this is the LA Girl Wanderlust palette. So this one is basically like an all shimmer palette. Honestly, it probably only has like two mattes. You guys know I'm a really big fan of matte shadows. And if this would have been all matte, I would have been all for it. But I just, I mean, the shimmers are also pretty dry. So I just like, I don't know. They're just not my formula that I particularly like in shimmers. And then I also have this NYX um, shadow palette. This is the Off Tropic. This one is super cute. I believe it was like 20 bucks. I remember I bought it when I was trying to like get into makeup again, like when my morning sickness was going away. But honestly, I'm just not really a huge fan of it. Um, not something I was ever, like maybe I was excited at the initial point when I purchased it and felt like I needed it, but I never even reached for it. So, yeah. And then this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. So these palettes are super pretty. I'm sure that the formula is super gorgeous, but I just prefer the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and like the Omrezi highlighter over these. I have other highlighters that I really like, so it's just like if I'm not reaching for them, like what's the point? I'm sure they're really, really nice and like really pretty and they feel really soft, um, but I've just never like never really reached for them anymore. As well as the um, That Glow Glow Kit. Um, the packaging is super nice. I really like the packaging of them as well, but I just never use them enough for my liking, so that's why I'm decluttering them. And then last but not least is a palette that I honestly <laughs> kind of feel like it was meant to be last because this palette is a palette that I've actually contemplated actually decluttering. So this is the Kat Von D Fetish palette. I do have it on my offer up. This is what it looks like. But the more I look at it, the more I always just like have never been able to declutter this palette until like recently. Um, it just has a lot of shades that I've never really seen in a lot of palettes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these two. Like these like shadows down here don't swatch really well. So I can already tell that they're going to be really hard to apply with a brush. But I really do like the matte shades. But again, I already probably have shades in here. I've just never put them together like they are in this palette. So yeah, this is a palette that... And also, I just really didn't like the packaging, girl. Like, I wish you would have just kept it square or ring tangle because this never stored right. It was too tall for my drawers. And like, whenever I stored it, obviously the round edges just like never sat well on top of my other ones. So... That is pretty much it. So I finally put them all in the basket. So like I said, this is literally everything that I'm decluttering. And of course, um, whenever I have like a pile of this again, I'll definitely make another video because I usually clean out my collection. Like whenever I have time, I'll really go through everything, especially when I'm like starting to run out of space um, to put my newer palettes. So yeah. I know that a lot of you guys know me from all of my eyeshadow collection videos, like those are my most popular videos on my channel and a lot of people are always telling me like 
I don't declutter enough. Other people always tell me not to declutter. I declutter when I feel like it's necessary. I definitely do love my eyeshadow palettes. At one point, they were the eyeshadow palettes that I really wanted. I bought them with a purpose. I didn't just buy them for them to sit in my collection. But it's nothing ever heartbreaking because at the end of the day, like I always get to replace it with something new. That's just how this works. Um, you know, I'll get rid of it, I'll get something new, I'll be fine. So, you know, it's nothing ever that I'm just like, it's not that serious. At the end of the day, it's makeup, like we all love to do it, we all share that interest. So yeah, sometimes when I'm doing my eyeshadow palette collections, I may not declutter because I've already decluttered in the past, so there's just no reason to get rid of things that I genuinely do like having in my collection. But then six months later, I may not be interested in the way that I was interested in then. So that's just how it works. I'm always decluttering stuff. I haven't ever like not decluttered something in my collection. Obviously, when I used to have like 20 palettes, I still decluttered. It's just something that everyone does. I own probably more than 300 eyeshadow palettes, so this is nothing compared to like what I still have in my drawers but I still always declutter stuff so if you guys are interested in any of the items make sure to check out my Poshmark and my offer up you guys can message me with any questions on there as well as you guys if you guys want to bundle anything definitely let me know so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel down below and turn on your post notifications and i will see you guys all in my next one bye